It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for Ten. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for Ten. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to this special edition of Science Bowl. The two teams you're about to meet have won once already and are here today to determine who moves on to the semifinals to play Berwyn Heights Elementary. Let's meet today's teams. First from Melwood Elementary, say hello to Noah Oxley, Jamie Petty, and William Jang. And from Tyak Elementary, here they are, Daryl Lomax, Amy Tejada, and Zachary Severance. Now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen sink. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on Science Bowl, our game board reflects question difficulty. Easy questions on the left, 5 and 10 points. Tougher ones, 15, 20, ultimately 25, toughest of them all. Both teams start out at 50 points. No penalties for incorrect answers. And to the two rounds today, we will have a competitor for Berwyn Heights in this year's semifinal round. A lot at stake today. Let's make sure everything's working properly. Jamie, would you try your buzzer? Thank you. Good luck to you, William, and to Noah. And Amy, would you try yours? It, too, seems to be in good shape. Good luck to you, Zachary and Daryl. Congratulations, teams, for having made it this far in the competition. May the better team win today. Let's have a great game. We go alphabetically M before T, so Melwood and Jamie start us out. Let's, Let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, back in 1974, Stephen J. Hawking discovered that these radiate energy evaporate and eventually disappear. What was he talking about? Jamie? Matter. Not matter. Good try. These things radiate energy, they evaporate, and they eventually disappear, so said Stephen J. Hawking. Black holes. Black holes. That's what he's associated with. All right, try again. Red. Science. Well, Zoo Parade for 20. Zoo Parade for 20 points. Teams, in a tropical rainforest, for every mammal, there are 300 of these A initial. There are at least 300 of these creatures in what a initialed phylum that includes the insects? Amphibians. A initialed phylum we're looking for. Amy. Amphibians? Not amphibians. Good try. Melwood, for every mammal in a tropical rainforest, there are 300 of these creatures in what a initialed phylum that includes the insects? Arthropods. Arthropods. Absolutely right. The segmented animals. Nice try, though, Amy. Jamie, good points. Go. Thank you, William and Noah. Science potpourri for 10. Science potpourri for 10 points. Teams, retiring U.S. Senator Joe Lieberman was in the Senate so long, he said that when I came to the Senate, blackberries were fruits, and these were the sounds that birds made. Tweets. Tweets. We're talking about blackberries and tweets. I was hoping you would have made the association there. Try again, Red. <laughs> Zoo Parade for 15. Zoo Parade for 15 points. Teams, recently there was a television commercial with two antelopes with night vision goggles watching the lions get closer, Tyak. What do you want to tell me? Sir. Melwood, these antelopes had on night vision goggles in this ad to see the lions coming close. Those night vision goggles are sensitive to IR, which is what kind of energy? IR. What does it stand for? Infrared. Energy. Infrared. Absolutely. Good answer there. Good. Red. Go. Let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. Teams, you can pick up Rice Krispies with a balloon. 
If you rub the balloon with a piece of wool and get negative charges on it, it will attract the positive charges on the Rice Krispies. You have just demonstrated what kind of electricity? Static. Static electricity. Static electricity. Yes. You got it, Amy. All right, young lady, you are up next. Go. Zoo parade for 25. Zoo parade for 25. Big one in that category. It's a visual question. Look at the monitor. Teams, this beautiful shelled cephalopod has the same name as the first U.S. nuclear submarine. What N initial term describes that creature for 25 points? Jamie. Nautilus. The Nautilus. Absolutely right. It is a Nautilus shell, a beautiful, very intelligent cephalopod. Good answer. Go. Red. Dateline for five. Dateline for five points. Teams, the Mayan calendar says the world will end on December the 21st. That may or may not happen. We know December 21st as the first day of what season? Winter. Kayak. Winter. Winter. It's the day of the winter solstice. Yes, ma'am. Go. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Teams, if a plant or an animal is much smaller than normal, we use two different adjectives to describe how diminutive they are. I'll give you 15 points if you can give me one or the other of the terms to indicate a plant that is smaller than normal. Jamie. Midget. Not midget. Good try. Good try. Tyak, can you give me an adjective to describe diminutive plants or animals smaller than normal? What do you think? Dwarf or pygmy? You can have a dwarf plant, you can have a pygmy hippopotamus, something smaller than normal. Midget was a nice guess. Amy, the advantage is still yours to choose. Go. Um, Zupraid for 10. Zupraid for 10 points. Teams, it was in Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet when they were describing something that was not going to work out, a fruitless chase, where he said, if you go on a wild blank chase, chances are things will not happen. Jamie. Goose chase. Goose chase, a wild goose chase. Yes, something that's probably not going to end well. Good answer. You guys are all clicking over there. I like how you're thinking. 120, 75, still close. Mel, would you go? You may choose. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. This will be the last question before we go to the break. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. RG3 just got an MRI on his ACL because he had what kind of patellar predicament? He injured his knee. He injured his knee. And with that, we come to the end of the first round. We'll be back with round two in just a moment. Don't go away. I knew I needed help paying for college. My parents divorced when I was three, and there's no way they could pay for it all. Ever since I was a little girl, I wanted to be a teacher. I used to put together worksheets, and I made my friends do them when they came over. After a while, nobody wanted to come over anymore. My guidance counselor was the one who told me about federal student aid. And my mom was a big help in filling out the free application. It was a challenge, but so worth it when I got the grants and loans that made school possible. What would I tell other kids? I would tell them not to give up, to look for options to go to school. There is a way. You just have to find it. You might have to work and save, but it is what you make it. Life is what you make it. My name is Caitlin. I'm going to be a special education teacher. I'm going to live my dream. I always thought being a good mother meant raising my baby myself. But when I got pregnant, I realized I wasn't ready to be a parent. So I did something I thought I could never do. I chose adoption. It was really hard. But I know my baby is with a loving family and has a very bright future. Sometimes choosing adoption is being a good mother. Visit us at ichooseadoption.org. Welcome back to Science Bowl. Thanks for spending part of your day with us here. Let's go over and meet our six players. They were here once already this season. They're back today to find out who moves on in our competition. Started out with 40 elementary schools. Eventually, we will be down to the final four. Could be one of these schools among that final four. Melwood, nice to have you guys back again. 
The team in red over there, your special science ball shirts, you look good. And I know your names are on the back, a la football jerseys. I know your coaches, too, have football jerseys on. Thank you for modeling there, guys. Miss Marshallick and Miss Perrin are out there. And uh, uh, Liliana is out there, your alternate. They'll be out in a few moments. Tell me more about Melwood, Jamie. What goes on there that's kind of special? Oh, in Melwood, now... Hmm. Sometimes everything seems special when you're at school. You know, every day can't be special, but I know you have great teachers there. You got clubs, you got that book fair going on there. You got a lot going on at your school. Um, and uh, tell me about, uh, uh, let's see, uh, what you want to do in the future someday, Jamie? I already said I wanted to be a chemist. Yeah, we talked about that once before. Do you have any plan B? What if that doesn't oh, work out? Plan B? I might be a basketball player. Wow. Uh, do you play basketball now? Yeah, I play basketball with my friend Dana. Well, you're a good competitor, and you've got to be a good competitor in sports and in life and in yeah. academics, so keep up your good work here in the second half. William, you had your hand up. I didn't mean to ignore you. What did you want to tell me? Uh, I was going to help Jimmy out because our science teacher, Miss Perrin, um, for the science fair, um, she did this little thing so we don't have to do the whole thing at the same time, so she gave us a little book about, um, about when all the stuff is due and stuff, and um, it tells you when all the... It tells you how to do it, and like like from procedures to um, like from the, what the, what the question is, what the procedures and the results and the kind of like a how-to book. Yeah, it's like for your that. science fair. Is that what it's for? Yeah, and, um, and, and um, we do we do some of them once or twice a month, and um, and um. When we're done, we, we can just copy everything down that we already did onto the science board so we, wow. so we don't have to rush to do it. That's amazing. That's just wonderful. Everything is so organized there. That's why you guys are so good. You have that discipline about yourself. You and the TIAC team as well. That's why you made it this far in the competition because you didn't let setbacks get in your way. You kept going. You never gave up. You don't give up. William, someday you want to be a dinosaur expert, right? Paleontologist, I can see you doing that. I can see you being intent looking for those fossils. And Noah, this young man wants to be, he wants to be a president. He's got artistic talent. You're a natural athlete, so says your uncle, right? You're a, a great baseball player. What position you play? Or would you like to play? I would like to play batter and pitcher because when we're outside, because when I'm outside throwing it or the ball, he... I throw it really hard, and he catches them sometimes. Wow, we're going to have to get one of those guns out there and, and time your pitch, you know, how many miles per hour it goes there. <laughs> nice to have you back with us, Noah. Good luck in the second half. Tayak, good to have you guys back here. Haven't seen Tayak in years and years. You did so well last time, and you're back again. You guys are great. Amy, tell us how you prepared for this. Um, we, we practiced um, every week after school. Yeah, and you're probably looking at old shows, and then you listen yeah. to uh, questions from your teacher. Now, did you have any alternates on your team, Amy? Yes, Daniel Malloy, but he yeah. couldn't be with you. He couldn't us. be with you today. Well, he's missing out on a fun time, isn't he? Because it's a great time here. And uh, don't be discouraged by a low score. You guys have the talent. I want to see that come out in the second half, and I know I will. Amy, uh, Tyak's a great place. Lots going on there. Mm. What, do you, what do you like about that school? The teachers, mostly, there's not really that many activities, but when there is, they're usually fun. Yeah, well, that's great. And you wear uniforms down there, right? Yeah. Every day, that's a uniform school. And when you leave Tyak, a lot of folks just go right next door to Isaac Gordine, right, for middle school. That's tremendous. And what do you want to do someday, Amy? Teach. Teach. You'd be a good teacher. As I told you before, you just have a nice, calm manner about you. I can see you working with children. They'd be lucky to get you. Zachary, nice to have you back with us. Young man, you're a basketball player? Yes. Yeah. And uh, what position you play? I play all about every position. I have uh, quick speed, so if I get a rebound and there's no one down court, yeah. I have the, enough speed to literally just give the ball off and be the first person down court. Wow, this guy's going to be drafted someday early. You're a good utility player, so you're out there. And you play for a local team, don't you? Yes. Yeah, that's great. And what about the science ball? Why did you want to be here? Because when we were at practice watching the videos, I was seeing how you had like all these fun activities and me, my dad had taught me a lot about your body and uh, I know a lot about animals. So the body systems and animals, those should be my two strongest places to those be Those are right up your alley then, right? All right. Well, you got some more points. Uh, not too much left in the zoo, but the body systems.
They're there to, for you to pick yet, Zachary. Nice to have you with us. You're a good player. And Daryl, nice to have you with us. You really came through the first time you were here. Oh, you know so much about science. Well, I, I really, I'm really into science. Yeah, I'm because sometimes for homework we get these art, we get time for kids articles, and then I also read the newspaper. So yeah, I'm really into it, and I like doing experiments too. That's wonderful. That hands-on is important, and reading the newspaper. Newspapers are a dying breed these days. I'm glad you're still reading them. There's lots to learn out there. Nice to have you back, Daryl. Let's get back into that game. Tyek 75, Melwood 120, very close. Lots of points to give away. Start us out, Jamie. Body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, the first ever human sense that was restored was done by a Dr. House who invented a cochlear implant which let a person do what again? Amy. Hear? Hear. Yes, ma'am. The cochlea is in the inner ear. He let people hear again who had been deaf. Nicely done. Amy, go. Um, science potpourri for 20. Science potpourri for 20 points. Teams, a hydrophone is a microphone stuck underwater listening to sounds produced by whales and dolphins. In what D initialed units does it pick up those sounds? We measure the sounds in what D initial units with this hydrophone listening to whales? Jamie. Decibels. Decibels, absolutely right. That's what I want to hear. Boy, right on the tip of your tongue. Noah, thank you, young man. Good, go. Jamie. Zoop parade for five. Zoop parade for five points. Tim, this sounds a bit strange, but Dr. Seuss said it. He said, in my world, everyone's a pony, and they all eat rainbows, and they poop. These beautiful insects with beautiful wings, Jamie. Butterflies. Butterflies, that's right. If you eat rainbows, butterflies come out the other end. Kind of like that. Go, Rit. Let's get physical. Oh, let's get physical for 25. Let's get physical for 25. Big one in that category, teams. Listen carefully. All right, this could make the game very close if Taya gets it. Teams, if you've seen the ad on television for Celebrex, an arthritis commercial, it says, a body in motion tends to stay in motion, while a body at rest tends to stay at rest. What I initial term did Isaac Newton apply to those principles? What I initial word describes a body at rest, staying at rest, a body in motion, staying in motion. Come on, Melwood. Insatiable. Again? Insatiable. Insati no, not insatiable. Good try. What I initial word describes... Body at rest, staying at rest, in motion, staying in motion. Interactive. Inertia. Inertia is the word. Inertia. It was a 25-point question. It was tough. We were hoping you would get it. Try again, Jamie. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Teams, scientists are now trying to decode the genome of these C-initial kinds of trees that include Christmas trees. No one. Conifers. Conifers, absolutely right. The coniferous trees. Well done. Go red. <laughs> Green things for 25. Green things for 25. Big one in that category. Teams, we know that water goes up a tree, but there's no pump. The way it can go up is because the tubes are so tiny that the water molecules adhere to each other. That is known as what kind of action named after the tiniest blood vessels in your body? Melwood? Carpillaries. Well, capillaries. Capillary or cap... You sound very British. Capillary, absolutely right. Capillary or capillary action. Good. Go. Rid. Body systems for 25. Body systems for 25 points. Teams. An animal like a mosquito or a tick that passes along pathogens from one person to another is known by this V initial term, also the name of the villain in the movie Despicable Me. No one. Ve vector. Vector. Well, vector. Vector. Vector it is. Absolutely right. A vector is a disease carrier like a mosquito for West Nile or malaria. Good. Red. Let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. Look at the monitor in the studio, please. Teams, this looks like a lemon meringue pie gone bad. Actually, it is a bar of ivory soap that has been nuked in a microwave. Thing is, it's still soap. It hasn't changed chemically. So instead of a chemical change, this is a what, Tyak? A physical change. Yeah, it's just a physical change. Yes, ma'am. I wouldn't want to use that to take a shower, though. I'm sorry. Go green. 
and Science Pope Brief for 25. All right, that's the way to do it. Science Pope Brief for 25 points. Teams, talking about V initialed words, when you do your science fair experiment this year, the factors that change that you have to control are known by what? No what? Variables. Yeah, the variables, the dependent, the independent variables. You got to control them. You learned well. Good. Go, Red. Science potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, this hard, brittle material that acts like a solid but is more chemically related to a liquid was a strange material to make slippers out of for Cinderella. Kaya. Glass. Glass, that's right, her glass slipper. Could not have been comfortable, man. Go, red, green. Dateline signs for 25. Dateline for 25, big one in that category. Teams, the former president of South Africa, Nelson Mandela, recently had stones removed from this body organ that... Kidney. No kidney. Not the kidney, good try. There are stones in kidneys. Tayak, Nelson Mandela had stones removed from this body organ that is attached to the liver and normally produces a green substance called bile juice. What organ am I talking about where the stones were located? What'd you think, Amy? Mm -hmm. Gallbladder. The gallbladder was the answer there. Go again, Amy. Choose another. Dateline science for 20. Dateline science for 20 points. This is an analogy. Galileo is to a telescope what Leeuwenhoek was to a... Jamie. Microscope. Microscope. Absolutely right. He invented the first microscope. That's the way to fill in those blanks. Go, Melwood. Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Teams, because the ginkgo tree has been around for millions of years, we say that it is a living what? Melwood. Dinosaur. Not a dinosaur. On the right track. Tyak, because it's been around for millions of years, it's still around. It is known as a living what? Go. A fossil. Fossil. You got that right, Daryl. I knew you knew that one. Thanks for saying it. Go, Amy. Dateline signs for 15. Dateline for 15 points. Teams, they recently found a creature called a slow loris living in the Southeast Asian jungles. And it is related to us and to monkeys and to lemurs, which means it belongs to what P initial order of mammals? Melwoods. Primates. Yes, man. Yes, sir. Primates they are. Good. Go. Red. Body system for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, the Egyptians had it all wrong. When they were changing their dead into mummies, they threw away this organ, but saved the heart because they thought that is where a person's identity was. Jamie. Liver. Not the liver. What did the Egyptians throw away thinking that it was the heart where a person's identity lay? Um, the brain. The brain, yeah, they would throw the brain out. They didn't think it was worth anything. It was just a skull filler. Go, green. Dateline signs for 10. Dateline for 10 points, teams. What famous inventor of dynamite endowed a series of prizes that are giving out for science and peace every single year under some of the top prizes in the world, Melwood? Nobel. Nobel Prizes, yes, indeed. We have four questions left. You choose, Jamie. Body systems for five. Body systems for five points, teams. Even if the frenulum attached to this little muscle in your body is normal sized, when you're on science bowl, sometimes you can't talk because what's tied? Jamie, tongue. your tongue, you get tongue tied on. Not you guys. You guys are great. Go, Red. Let's get physical for ten. For five, five, Let's five. get physical for five points. Teams, some people call them shooting stars, but recently the Geminids that we could see were otherwise known as, Jamie? Comets. Not comets. Good try, Amy. These shooting stars were also known, these Geminids, as what? Meteors. Meteors, the meteor showers. That's right. Go ahead, Amy. Green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams. We all know that donkeys don't like to move. If you smack them with a stick, they just hold back. But sometimes if you use this persuasive vegetable in the front of them, they will move very easily, Jamie. Carrot. A carrot. The carrot or the stick. The carrot usually works. Last question of the game. Science Pope brief for five points. Teams, when they make cheese in Wisconsin, some of the residue they've learned can be spread on icy roads because it contains an awful lot of what condiment? Now what? Salt. Salt, absolutely right. It might smell a little funny, but it does the job. We've come to the end of our game. We'll be back with a wrap-up in one moment. Don't go away. I knew I needed help paying for college. 
I've always wanted to be a teacher. I used to make worksheets for my friends to do. No one ever wanted to come over. My guidance counselor told me about federal student aid, and my mom helped me fill out the free application. I got the grants and loans that made school possible. There is a way to pay for school. You just have to find it. My name is Caitlin. I'm going to be a special education teacher. I'm going to live my dream. Welcome back. What a great game we had here today. Six great players. You can see why they made it to this elimination round. Great talent, great sportsmen. Our final tally today is Tyak 145, Millwood 300. To say they're excited would be an understatement. The cheerleaders are there, Noah, Jamie, William, and also look at uh, who we have back there, Liliana and uh, our two sponsors, Miss Marshalik and Miss Perrin. If they could turn around, I want to see what they've got on the back. These are like football jerseys. Coach Perrin, number one. Coach Marshalik, number two. Liliana, number 14. They went all out. We are happy for them. They will be vying against Berwyn Heights in the semifinals. We'll see them then. We hope to see you as well. See you next time. Bye-bye.